Welcome back. We are continuing the restoration of our 8-bit ASR33 teletype. In the previous episode, we made a test setup with an oldie but goodie HP terminal that can talk 110-bit current loop. We monitored the bits coming back and forth, deciphered more higher glyphics, did non-obvious adjustments to non-obvious parts, got to send the right bits in the end and checked on the terminal it was finally transmitting every character properly. Anything? However, in the other direction, the receiving Gosh. section was just giving us mostly garbage. So that's what we are going to work on in this episode. But in the meantime, word got around that we were working on ASR33s, so some local collectors showed up with theirs for teletype restoration group therapy. You'll recognize prominent collectors and restorers Lyle Bickley, with whom I made the PDP-1 episode, which, by the way, is one of my favorite videos. I highly recommend you watch it. And Bob Rosenblum. And Robert Garner, who recently gave me his HP 2116 lurking in the background. Each of them having collections that dwarf mine by orders of magnitude. Upside is that we got company and uh, many machines to compare. Downside is that the soundtrack got pretty messed up with three restorations happening at once. But back to the receive section, or print unit as it is known, things don't look too good at the moment. So it receives something. When I do G, it decodes control G and the bell. It still doesn't advance. But when I do space, it advances. Sometimes it advances with a letter. Printer, some sign of life, not great. Just looking at it, I can already see some obvious problems with the function levers. So my, my obvious problem here, I have this, this bar that's running completely sideways. Yeah. So it's that, that bar right here is completely crooked. Yes, it is. It just gets pushed this way from here somehow, you know. Uh, we'll see. Because uh, it, it looks like it has to be... It has to be parallel. It has to be parallel. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, pro it's, not, it's not going right. correctly under the block it, here. So it, it's a bit hard to see, but my, my lever starts over here and then moves. And it's actually, there's a comb here and it's in the wrong place in the comb. To totally at the bottom here. So those are all the function levers. The and this is not, not the only one that's adjusted. This guy here yeah, of course we have to just readjust it's supposed that. to yeah, push right. that guy it's there. Now, what is I, I found a trick over here. There's a, the, the bar here that prevents them from moving them. But if you're mid-cycle, that bar goes down. Ah. Watch that guy. Yes. Yeah, he's going to stop. Yeah, he locks and, 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 and so what probably happens, that stuff got stuck mid-cycle. And that allowed the bar to move. This. And yeah. go see, see mm -hmm. how it's, it's pushing. And now, I bet you I can move this one back. Yes, to its slot. Okay, at least this one I have. The no, other no, one no, I... No, yeah. One's bad too. Okay. No, I can't get All right. I can move this that far. It's okay, almost so there. So I should be able to move this yes. back that way. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the oil? First, let's put the oil on here. There you go. And work this. So at least this okay, thing fixed. is a little less. You there keep you this so so I think it's right? the end of transmission. It has these little comms on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you move so I had an end of transmission plate. that was wrong. Because it's got adjustment slots in it. Oh, I see. Okay. And maybe a carriage return or... what? carriage return. Oh, yeah. there's so many of them. I know. Isn't it amazing? And the other lever that wasn't engaged right was 181172, but that's the end of line bell. So none of those are going to help us with line feed or... Hmm, okay. It's true. So the function levers definitely were not where they belonged, but unfortunately they are probably not the root cause that would explain why I'm decoding control G, the bell, instead of G, nor why I don't have any line or form feed. Again. Okay, so maybe that's just ah. there's a frame right here. Ah, this is turning all the time. Huh? It's not on that little bar. Okay. So this I stopped it now. Live feed. No. No. Control for feed? No. So it's not printing anything. Are you getting a bell? Yeah. 
so you're getting a control G, not a G, so you're not going to go to Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I have one more function lever that's not right. Okay. We're cool. So, uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm sort of out of ideas. So we should look at what that lever is. We think the lever that we just figured that was stuck is this one. I'm pretty sure it has the exact right shape. It's called the line feed lever. So that could explain why the line feed didn't work, uh, but it still doesn't explain why we would decode a bell when we are stuck in a control mode, right? Is there uh, something that's called a control lever in here that we could? It's one of the selection levers. It's a selection. It's one of the bits. It's a it's a bit, not not the uh, it's not one of these levers. Uh, right. okay. so these, these are these, these levers. Oh, so it could be so these, it could these be. Le these levers are after it's decoded. Oh, okay. So we're it's it's one one of these over here it where it's emitted. Yeah, okay. you're selecting the wrong character. Right. Exactly. Well, but you know what? If we get it working good enough. Uh, we should be able to see which code is on the bars, it's right? It moves mighty fast. <laughs> Line um, feed. Doesn't do anything. Whole thing there it is. Your I can see how it's setting the, setting the thing we put in right here. So it's one, two, three, four. You can tell which bit it decoded by looking at the end of the selection bars. Each bar that moves to the left is decoded as a 1. From back to front, it is bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, and 8. And we have the good ASCII 1963 sheet with the uh, minuscules, the, the lowercase, and the signs. And Bell is 111000. And I see. One, 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 and then a bunch of zeros. So it's missing the, and I'm trying to send a G, which is one, zero, zero. So it's missing bit seven. What you need is it is all one. Yeah. Okay, so six is not moving. Six is not moving. So I think I found what was What's the problem here? We have one of the code bars not moving and uh, I was trying to figure out what was preventing it from moving and finally I found it and it's buried down there. It is one of the gliding shoes is stuck in between the bars right here. So it's this fellow out here that's in between the two bars. So I need to remove the carriage. Take the bar out, and then we can take the carriage out. Yeah. There we go. All the toes in the right place in their shoes. I think now, if I set up a character manually, all my code bar will move. Code bars will move. So just get here. I do an all one. First bit on, second bit on. Okay, I can see all my bars have been set, and now they should all move up. And they do. That guy is moving up now with all the other ones. So I have all ones. Okay, I think I repaired at least that part. Okay, so they are not all moving correctly. Okay, oh, I'm starting to print. Okay. Printing a Y, whatever that is. Turn, and at the end it's printing a bracket or an O. So we're getting there and it's not printing everywhere but there's print at the end of the carriage over here which probably tells me it's a simple adjustment that uh, my platen is not straight. So the adjustment for the straightness of the platen is over here. I can see right away 
it's way too far back. Let's see if that does any better. There we go. Trying uh, A, I get an app factor. B, I get an A. And C, I get a B. So ah, I think I know what that is. So that is what's on the head. And A, I get an, an at sign. B, I get an A, C, I get a B. So I am just rotated one off, which should be a simple adjustment over here. We are very close. I can straighten that guy. I happen to have the perfect tool for this. It's full of play, so you never really know if you're actually doing it right. I have to turn it some more. It's too strong on the right side. I think I'll go that way. Okay, still too far on that side. Almost cocked to the right. Ah, there we go. A. It's still a little bit faint. So I think the issue I have with the faintness of a character is a well-known ASR 33 issue is that the, the hammer, which is actually what pushes the head on the paper, uh, there is a piece of rubber that degrades and this one's actually all hard and all dented. So the time on our tradition is to put some tubing over this. So I think there's a preferred tubing to do that. I didn't have any, so this was the closest I could find. This is some part of a cable installation. Let's see if my printing gets better. Oh, noticeably better. So we're trying to debug the line feed, which still does nothing. And it decodes correctly, so it's not the decoding. And the process of doing that, we found out how to set up a combination manually. So a line feed is triggered by 2-4. And in order to set up a combination manually, you get this thing very close to the end. You get a pick and I pick levers two and pick levers four sets combination two four and I look over here yep I have two and four coming up by the way we discovered it's one two three four five seven six parity so six and seven are are inverted so now if I keep going here I should trip my line feed lever which is over here somewhere uh, wait, wait 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 yeah thanks and can you shine some light over here it's this fellow this fellow should go down with this other guy so I'm going to continue the cycle and Sure enough, it does. So the lever engaged, and it's pushing this down, and this is going to be the line feed. Although I can feel this is a bit sluggish. It, it doesn't want to come back up quite it's easily. Tripped. But anyhow, that should do the line feed, and up it it went back up. Actually, you can see like so the clutch. Yeah, you up. can see it line feeding right here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that works at slow speed, but when we turn the machine on. Car in the machine and put on local and I try to do line feed nothing happens it can do it at slow speed or at high speed it's something sluggish it's the uh, so I'm going to check the, 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 the latches and all that stuff and put some miracle lye oil I have the tractor feed and this is a section that needs to be oiled it started to work right away after a few strategically placed drops 
Okay, the joys of having a line feed. Oh, line feed, line feed. Okay, return. Return, line feed. Oh, return, line feed. Okay, well, I better put dash pot back because it was a little violent return. And you still have to look on form feed. Yeah, so form feed is the last thing that doesn't work here. Shift form feed, that's not it, shift. Can you hold the light, uh, Carl, for a second? For, for, for cinematic purposes, if I do control L. Oh! It got shy of the camera, now it works. It works once. Alright. It uh, was operator error. So when you do form feed, when the form is at the top of the form, doesn't do anything. So you first need to do a line feed and do a form feed. So it's not a bug, it's a feature. Alright. Line feed. Form feed. So it was working all along. Oh, I think we are fully repaired. So we're going to try our first ASR 33 to HP2645 intergalactic transmission. So it seems to have worked actually, except I mistyped at one point. This is our first intergalactic transmission. And we can do it in the other direction. Intergalactic. Ah. See? It still has this problem. I can't do a Yeah. Okay, I have a keyboard problem. So I'll do a well, cheat, I'll do a dash. Oh, I won't do it either. But it's stuck at the red point. Huh. Okay, there seems there's still some keyboard work here to be. Return line feed. Where, where is that page? I'm going to try some escape codes over here. Shift and control K. Control Shift. K. Escape H, I think is home. Yeah, I did it. And control Shift K. Escape J is erase. Woohoo! It yes. takes the escape code. Alright. Alright. Now that should work, yes. Okay.